I don't even think this guy. I don't even think this guy's gonna measure. He might. Full venture, probably. <sighs> really slow bite. No. Punches. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. Measure. Hell yeah. Twelve and a half. Big boy. Or three. Okay. A little guy. Throw it wacky a couple more times and I'm gonna punch this mat in here because it's like five foot, it's like five foot in here. They might actually be in it now. One out, punch and wait. Alright, about ten o'clock. It's been pretty damn slow so after that last bite. Been cut off by a few boats. All in all, a good day. <laughs> tough, tough conditions. It wouldn't be so bad if that damn wind wasn't blowing like 20 mile an hour. And if we weren't getting shielded by those trees, it would, this would just be unfishable. Like you can see that how much current it's blowing. There's a huge gator right in front of me. Screw that. Just sunning himself, I guess. Oh, damn it, son of a... Oh, they might have been on a bed. Huh. That is probably what happened. That was back to back. Number five. Small, small limit. Overheads. Overhead camera's dead now, so we're going to come back on that spot. It was rough. I I didn't catch. I didn't get my fifth until like maybe 30 minutes left. Wait. Seven miles. Yeah. And I caught my first fish in the last half hour. Right over here, yeah. <laughs> I hate that shit. That that shit sucks. Hell yeah. Uh huh. What up, fam? License and registration. How's it going? License? Yeah. Yeah. How's the Sucking. <laughs> no good today? Pretty rough today. Uh, caught a few, nothing big. There's a lot of a lot of buck bass, the small ones. How's it going? Great. You got any fish on board? Nope. 
Nope, just a uh, largemouth bass today, so we're just catch and release. Oh, okay. Come on, I'll let y'all get back to it. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, have a good day. Appreciate it, sir. Yep. That's a, that's only my third time ever <laughs> for a game warden. Because uh, usually in Central Texas we never we never run into them at all. That's actually my first time. I'm... All right, long trick up. We things exactly like that when I got rid of the pro angler and got the. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thankfully we don't. Uh, I don't fish too many highland reservoirs or anything like this. Most of our stuff's lowland. Alright, this is post uh, show cannon. Fishing was brutal. Like, this is two tournaments in a row. At least this tournament actually caught fish. <laughs> that last event on Palestine whooped my butt. But, uh, started out just windy as hell. Started catching a few on the underspell on the almost outside edges of that grass. Water is really a lot dirtier than I thought it was going to be. I guess uh, we had been getting like 20, 30 mile an hour winds for a couple of days prior. So, really marked up the water. I was, uh, water temps were like, 65 when I launch got all the way up to 68 you think it'd be like this be like prime spawn time but with water being so dirty and fish just not reacting I'm, I'm assuming a lot were on beds but unless you like plinked it on their head and just like you weren't really gonna get bit so eventually had to like sc uh, scrounge my way to a small limit using a Ned rig of all things but at least I caught a limit I heard that going up the river this event was really good, but when I passed over the river that morning, there was like 15 other kayakers already there. So I liked, oh, that's too many people, I'll leave. But that's where most of the best stringers came out of. Now in a few weeks, that's, that may be different when I go back out there. So I don't know, it's gonna be tough to decide, but my next four videos are all gonna be on the same lake. We all collectively, uh, some of us kayakers, we call it the, the Goat Lake, which you'll probably recognize it from the background. I've, and I've done a decent amount of videos out here. And it's gonna be straight sight fishing, spawn fishing, almost the entire all four videos. So it's gonna be a treat. So stick around, for, stick around for that. We'll catch you next time.